City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. I'm full <laughs> of information. So let's get started. It's time for. Hot Come on. The matter is that we, everybody have a seat, relax. <laughs> yes. They're still standing. Um, the fact of the matter is we are live from New York, it's Wendy, like 95, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I, I, I want you to hear. We are 95% of the time live from New York, but the fact is is that we do pre-tape shows now and again. Yesterday's show, yesterday's show was pre-taped, which is why I didn't talk about um, Chloe and Tristan. Because according to my social media people, you all were dying. I mean, all, everyone was talking about it from People Magazine, TMZ, the five o'clock news, but you were waiting for the truth. Yeah. I mean, I, I only have the same truth that they're talking about, but you're waiting for a real opinion. Yeah. So now we're back, we're live. It's a few minutes, what is it? Two after 10 or something like that. It's Thursday, it, what's it, Wednesday? Thursday. It's, it's Thursday, yep. it's Thursday. <laughs> all right. Well, here's my thought. First of all, you know uh, that Tristan Thompson, you know who that is, he plays for Cleveland. He was caught cheating on uh, Chloe. Chloe is so pregnant right now, she's crowning. <laughs> you know, the baby's head is like right there. Uh, she's nine months pregnant and uh, Tristan was spotted um, according to well, according to this, there he is. How do you think you're gonna hide yourself when you're six feet nine? <laughs> oh, you throw on a hoodie? He's spotted making out wildly with this girl in New York at a nightclub. This was Saturday night. This was this, was this past Saturday night. Later on, the two of them, the girl and, and Tristan, there she is. Later on, they were spotted, she was spotted at his, his hotel. The calculations show that she spent approximately 48 hours with him. Uh, they went out, the, all right, the, Saturday night they did the boogie at the club, Sunday they went out, she didn't leave his hotel room until Monday at 8 p.m. with a large overnight bag. Now mind you, he had already left the hotel room, so you know how that is, you know, you're close enough with somebody, you know. Stay in the room, check out when you want, order anything from room service, love you baby, or, ew, but. <laughs> you know, cause the thing about getting implants or stuff like that, whether it's breast or booty, you've gotta massage them so that your boot, so that like, it looks like nobody actually massaged it. Cause it's supposed to, Well, clearly she wasn't born with that, but her name is Lanny Blair. She's 28 years old and she is an Instagram model from the Bronx. She's from Queens, Bronx, Queens. she's from Queens? Uh-huh. Where she's a bartender at a strip club. She's also the star of this morning's page six. If you're in New York, you pick up the post. Oh yes, they've got a, they, she's a beautiful girl. And apparently talented at what she does. Um, and so here, here's the part where our show is involved in every damn thing. 
even though I swear to you, I try to mind my own business. You might not believe me. I try to mind my own business, but I just get caught up. 30 years of my career, I keep getting caught up in some mess. But look, Lonnie was in the Wendy audience like three years ago. Shut your pie hole, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, okay? Because just when you co-host think nobody's looking, we've got cameras, forget these guys here on the, on the floor. There are cameras all up in the ceiling. We are watching you. So look, she was in the audience and she was so attractive and engaging, you know, with her claps and her smile and her wares and stuff, that my producers actually invited her to possibly be a model in one of my fashion shows. You know, I always use co-hosts. And here she is backstage getting prepped. Uh-huh, there she is. Right? Yup, yup, the Wendy Show does it again. She comes to the show, she gets pulled aside. Now, have we used her as an actual model? I don't think so, no. Well, now no. might be the time. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, call us. Okay, right. uh, Lonnie, uh, holla at your show. <laughs> so anyway, after, um, after that video came out with Lonnie and um, Tristan, TMZ then posted footage of Tristan with these three women. This was done in October at another gentleman's club in Washington, D.C. Now, my, my thing is that I don't think that Harvey knows how to hold a secret over at TMZ. Harvey, if you've had this footage since October, I only come up with one reason that you've never posted it. You and Chris have a thing going on. The mother, the mother. You know, a business thing, you know what I mean. Like, look, Harvey, I know you got the footage. But um, please don't post it. Chloe's waited a long time to get pregnant, and now she's finally pregnant. No, this is not laughter. This, tr in, my, in my opinion, these are facts, uh, like in my head. You know, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna do anything to make her lose the baby, so please don't post this. Just hold, be a pal, Harvey. And um, look under your front door, Matt. And... <laughs> There's something nice for you there. You know, and in hearing all this stuff, I felt bad for Chloe at first. Until? <laughs> until I realized, wait a minute now. Wasn't uh, Tristan expecting a baby with his girlfriend, Jordy Craig? <laughs> when, right? I mean, the only person I feel bad for is the baby. I, I don't feel bad for Chloe. Chloe, you knew when you pulled up on him that he had a girlfriend named Jordy Craig and that Jordy was five months pregnant. And by the way, sidebar, uh, uh, from all this garbage, s s sidebar, just a little um, you know, note to um, women out there. When you're dating and you know a guy is expecting a baby with a, a woman, but he's cute and he tells you, you know, that's been over, no, we don't live together, you know, she's just gonna, she's just gonna have the baby. Here's the thing, it might be over, but the fact is, and only people who have babies know, when a baby enters the world, everybody goes to mush. You don't know whether he's gonna get back with her, you don't know how he's gonna be as a father, he's got a lot of stuff to sort out over here. Chloe, you jumped in some mess you didn't need to be involved in to begin with. <laughs> One terrible person in my Hot Topics meeting suggests that she had a surrogate. I'm like, get out of here, please. There are too many moving parts to this story. Don't confuse me. <laughs> I mean, she did that picture with the bump and stuff, although this is the family notorious for, um, you know, exaggerating pictures and <laughs> stunting and stuff. It, it, it is in black and white. And her nose looks like the same nose as before she was pregnant. You know, they say, you know, your nose gets big. <laughs> She, she still has the same, look, come on now. I mean, my shoulders got, I had so much fat on my back. I, like it was ridiculous. I had all this going on and stuff. I'm not going with that though, stop. P please take that out of my head. As far as I'm concerned, this is a baby from her vagina. Look. Oh. 
So the day before all this action came out, Chloe posted a picture with the caption, we are ready whenever you are, little mama. And that's the picture. You know what though? I wonder what the rest of his story is. Nobody said it, but you know what I'm saying, doing? Just a, no you don't. All right, well I will continue my own personal investigation. And she seemed like she was really into them. The whole family was there in Cleveland. Did you see that episode when they were all there? And Chris was like, do you want us to go to the game or not? You know, and everything was fine. Um, sources are claiming that Tristan is a serial cheater and more women are about to come forward. Chris has flown to Cleveland to be by her daughter's side. Chloe is having the baby in Cleveland. The other sisters are supposed to be on the way. Um, he was booed last night at his game. People, they lost the game too. He only got a little bit of play time, but then again, I checked with some of the guys around who actually care about sports, and they said that he's not normally the, the big player anyway. He's, you know. So to me, you know what makes him a big player, see? Chloe, you know, when you're a famous girl, you gotta watch these not so big players. Cause I didn't even know who this guy was. I didn't even know who he was. And now he's on Hot Topics, he's in the Post, you know. I don't even know who the stars of the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers are. As far as I'm concerned, he's the star. Which is horrible because, because of the involvement with the family, he has taken away all the attention of everything. I wonder how they treat him in the locker room. You know? Well, guess what? Would you have him in the delivery room with you? Oh wait, no, clap if you would. Okay, sure. Well, Chloe agrees with you. Chloe wants him in the delivery room. So it'll be Chloe and I guess the sisters outside steaming mad. Chris will probably be in there. <laughs> Look, th this is what I feel, all right. Chloe, have the baby, go back to LA and you all continue with your manufactured life that you sell us. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but you know who to me the star man of the family is? Corey, yeah. C Chris's man with the big hips. Uh-huh. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, Corey minds his own business. Corey is not out here stunting with other women. Well, he's from Atlanta or dot, dot, dot. <laughs> um, I'm talking about maybe her credit. Thank you, sir, you are my people. Um, but he's not out here doing anything other than being with Chris and minding his own business with his shiny lips and his big hips. <laughs> All right now. Suzanne, would you have Tristan in the del delivery room? Uh, hell no. I <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> I think the bigger cautionary tale is don't get involved with a man who's about to have a baby on the way. Uh -huh. That's all. I thought I cared more. I what did she say? Lamar. Lamar? She's not going back to Lamar. No. Lamar, you don't want that action, do you? No. Lamar, Lamar, go on with your life. She's not gonna come back to you. Uh, although she does have a baby, so now she won't be uh, badgering you regarding a baby situation. And you already have kids. You know what? Let's follow that. So anyway, with all that action going on, did you actually pay attention to the Real Housewives of New York last night? I was in and I was out. Uh, Tinsley apparently is furious uh, that uh, Luann, the countess, wouldn't spill the details on her divorce from uh, Tom. You take a look. By the way, no, I'm not offended by the braids. <laughs> just, just, just look at this and then we'll talk more. Your beginning went to an end very fast. Well, I know. I'm just saying, and I'm not, I'm not. I'm not happy about it. I know. I'm not proud of it. I feel like people around us feel like you're not opening up enough about it or sharing about it. I can't even talk about Tom anymore. I'm over it. 
I know, but you about. brought it into everyone's live, and then it's like, now well, it's just done? Well, like, guess what? Let, let people get their own lives. Well, here's my thought on that. First, we'll break down the visual. I love Tinsley's dress. It's so civilized and pretty, right? And I don't mind, I'm not offended. Somebody brought up the Diana Ross thing and, and um, you know, the, the Afro thing. And it was a black person, of course, in our Hot Topics meeting. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, the Countess, but bring the braids back. I, I didn't see any, I wasn't offended by that. What, she's trying to affect black culture? What are we saying now? No, she's not. At her age, she's lucky she's got all that hair with good edges and a pretty face. Oh, you know what I mean? So wear it, you wear it well, Suze, um, um, you too, Suzanne. Um, <laughs> Luann, you wear it well. Here's the thing. You know when things go on in your life and you're so happy about them and you tell all your friends and you talk and you talk and you talk and you talk, but if those things go awry, like maybe your new job and then you get fired, your friends are still looking for the payoff, like, Okay, um, so what happened? And that's basically what Tinsley's saying. Suzanne, uh, um, <laughs> Luann. <laughs> Luann, Luann made such a big deal over being with Tom. She came here on the show and crowed about it and she crowed about it to the girls and we saw it with the cameras. She made such a big deal about being so in love with him. She forgave him for making out with that girl at the, at the bar here in Manhattan and everything. So when great things go on and then all of a sudden they go awry, I don't know about you, but I always feel like, give me a moment to breathe and I will deliver you the goods, but give me a moment to breathe. Right? And when I give it to you, I'm gonna give it to you good. I, I'm gonna tell you every detail. So my thought is that she needs to make an announcement to these women who she shared all the good with Tom when they were about to get married and say, look girls, um, it's too soon, the wound is still raw, I'm not ready, but when I get, when I get ready to tell you, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I honestly thought that that Chloe Tristan story would be a lot longer. We, 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 in the Hot Topics meeting this morning, we were talking about it for like an hour. So I figured getting out here, it's gonna be all the hot topics. We wouldn't get into anything else. I think I covered everything we needed to cover in that story, though, correct? Yeah. By the way, one part I forgot, nobody reminded me. Oh, well, allegedly, his name is not on Oh, Jordan's. that is right. We had, we, yeah. You didn't tell me that. that. We have that. Well, I got a good That's night's right. sleep. We Look. The girl, Jordan Craig, who has his baby, she was five months pregnant, her? His name is alleged to not even be on the birth certificate. So they might not have been boyfriend and girlfriend, but even if it's just a slide by, a baby entering the world changes the dynamics of every, like I would never get involved with a man who had a baby on the way. I don't care whether, you, you know what I mean? It's too much. On the way I'm talking, I'm not talking a man who has a baby, you know what I'm saying? It's too complicated. Yeah. Don't sell yourself short, girls. Anyway, so, oh gosh. The following story, in my opinion, involves something other than the usual Saturday night weed and whatever you all do. <laughs> because the behavior is quite suspect. Police videoed and it's now been released. The night that Nick Gordon, that's Bobby Christina's um, boyfriend before she passed, the night that he was arrested for alleged domestic violence against his girlfriend. Okay. Nick called 911. He claimed that his girlfriend, Laura, her, was attacking him. Okay, listen. When the police arrived, they saw Laura injured and ended up arresting Nick. Okay. The charges have since been dropped. I know, right? Right? Um, okay, but there's newly released video showing what a mess the two of them were that night. You take a look and then we'll talk. She's crazy. Like, okay, what so happened tonight? Times. 
Do you see what happened? I'm asking you to tell me what happened. She flipped out. Like, I can't do this anymore. I can't. She scratched me. She beat okay. me. Look at, come in my house. Not yet. Okay. Did you ever get physical with her? No, never, never, never. I would never. She accused me of this before. I called you guys. Everything's on recording. I don't go to jail or something like this. Like, I'm tired of it. He punched me right here. Do you he want did to slap me a couple of times. Do you want to have someone come out and check you? Just no, sure you I don't, don't want to do anything. Like, I okay. want my phone and I want to go home. The, okay, yeah, he wants to be with his angels. And I can't handle it. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. You want to start a statement? I mean, no, please, can we just let me go home? Thank you, TMZ, for that video. That video is really quite disgusting to me. It's very, very disturbing. So, so what happened after that, they ended up arresting Nick, but like I said, the charges were dropped. She didn't want to press charges, but what happened was they issued a restraining order telling both of them to stay away from each other. But no, she didn't listen, because there's more to the story. Uh, Norman, when did we do that? Did we do that part of the story where she went to the house? and? Yeah. We did. I'm confused. You all leave those drugs alone. <laughs> I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's when she showed up at his, his house. That's right. Okay, so the restraining order is in full effect, but she showed up at his house, okay? This is his house. A family member of hers who knows that she, they have this restraining order actually called 911 to say she's on her way over there and, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Nor do I care. <laughs> A little more about Laura. She punched a cop in the stomach and she has four, and she's got four mug shots. Two less than Marlo. Three less. Marlo's got seven. Seven. I can't with this show. I can't. <laughs> yay, yay, us. Um, so anyway. I, I'll tell you. You know, I'll tell you. You know, life is not easy for any of us. We're all grown people, but I feel like just one hour, a slice of silliness every single day. It's so good. It's so good. <sighs> and it's my pleasure to be, be your uh, ringmaster, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Our friend, Abby Lee Miller. You know, dance mom, she lost 100 pounds. She got the surgery to make her stomach smaller. And well, she's on her way down, but you know she's in the um, halfway house now. Well, she's having a hard time since being released from prison. While at the halfway house on Tuesday, apparently she wasn't feeling well, and the paramedics had to show up. And TMZ was there. They're everywhere. They caught her leaving the halfway house. There she is. No, this is not slow motion. This is her actually, yeah, walking. And she says that um, Abby's doctors say that she is suffering from back pain and thyroid issues from the surgery. You know what? Now, you know I have the thyroid, so I, I really don't feel a ways about saying this. Doesn't everybody? I mean, you know, like, here's what I'm thinking. Thinking, because once you get on TV, see, these people love to stay on TV, you know? That's why um, that mom, Kate Plus Eight woman, she's so drunken with being on TV that she's trying to figure out how to make the TV happen again. That's why, you know, the dating show, I told you about that yesterday's show, which was pre recorded. Listen, if you ever want to know about something and why I didn't talk about it, all you have to do is go to wendyshow.com. We list the days of when we're actually live versus, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that difficult. <laughs> and I love Abby. But, you know, I'm not sure about that thyroid. And doesn't everybody have a back issue? Yes. 
Abby just wants to take her moment to keep us in her, in her, her, our thoughts, because when she comes out, she's gonna wanna be back on TV. And you wanna know what? We're just the show to help her. Get well, Abby. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, winter, spring has sprung. Is anybody here on spring break? Really? Wow. That's odd, I would have thought you would have gone to the beach or something. But you come to the nitty gritty. That, thank you. Well, you know, uh, thank you for being here, but we've bought the beach to you. Uh, mm, do you smell it around here? Yeah. All right, well, the beach is brought to you by our friends at Airwick. We've placed these Airwick's scented oil plugins all around the studio. It smells like the beach. This one that I have um, affected today is Hawaii. So it's Hawaii. There's a hint of a papaya and a hint of a hibiscus, and then they're infused with 100% natural oils and essential oils at that, and they last for hours. For the next hour, just pretend that you're in Hawaii. Yeah. All right, you ready to turn up more? We've got more great show for you today. From Dancing with the Stars, Val Shurikovsky is here. So grab a snack and come on.